What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slogan. Welcome back to my let's play of WWE 2K17. My career mode today, after making our tag team partner Baron Corbin yesterday, today we get into a feud with Big Cass as we continue our way up the IC title rankings and Big Cass is number two. So having now defeated Kofi Kingston, Big Cass has that target on his big back. And the reason that you form a tag team before you get into a feud is because once you are in a feud, the game won't let you cut a promo. So you kind of have to do it that way. Anyway, I'm not here to make friends, even though I just had a tag team yesterday. Since I was a kid, I had a dream to be the WWE Champion. I clawed and pushed my way to get here, and I did it on my own. Screw you, Smojo. I'm not here to make friends. I don't care about any of you or anyone in the locker room. I'm doing all of this for me. Sorry, Baron Corbin. I'm better than everyone. Lately, I've been confused by a certain WWE superstar that thinks he's just as good as me, which is laughable at best. Ha. Still, I'm not one to shy away from putting someone in their place to remind them of who the king, who, who, of the playground and who, 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 belongs on the monkey bars. There are men who answer the call to arms, and there are men who hide. Which one are you, big Cass? Are you the tough guy that they say you are, or are you the coward that I know you to be? Come on out. We're it's a big Cass. No? Nothing? Okay. Go ahead and hide. Fine. If you want to hide from me, Rather than accept your fate, then so be it. But there will come a time where you and I will come face to face. And I guarantee you that you won't like what happens. I think that means I win this promo. A lot of people thought I was crazy calling him out. That I'd get hurt if I tried to take him on. That even thinking about going up against Big Cass was inviting the worst beating of my career. Now you see the proof. I'm not crazy. He's just scared. And here comes Triple H and Stephanie again for the second day in a row when I was doing the best I'd ever done on a promo. What could you possibly want, Hunter? You've already screwed me by suspending me. I had to spend my time in NXT from that performance enhancing pizza. I am back. I'm getting my belt. What do you want? You like all this attention, nah? Uh? You like getting their time? Well, you got our attention, but trust me. It's not the kind of attention that you want. Oh, and you'll get more airtime tonight, but not the kind of airtime you want the next time we see you. Uh, steel cage match. Okay. Giant paragraph of text I can't even read out in real time is insane. So I have a big cast in a solid steel cage. Now we know that I am terrible on this show historically on cage matches. So... Let's see how this one goes. I might just try to pin him in this cage because that seems like an easier thing than escaping the damn cage. Anyhow, welcome to a fine Wednesday. Uh, I have now watched both Raw and SmackDown, as I usually do, on a Wednesday. Uh, and I have thoughts on both. Uh, you know, not too much different than some of my Raw thoughts from yesterday. Uh, not, not that much out of the ordinary, uh, but having now watched the show, man... That crowd was terrible. What are you doing, Green Bay? Because you were sitting on your damn hands all freaking night. Where in, in comparison, the crowd for SmackDown uh, was pretty hype. So, I'm not sure what happened there uh, in between those two towns. But Green Bay dropping the ball. Now, I will say, Raw was not exactly a great show. So, I can understand why, outside of, say, you know, that match between Joe and Cesaro, which was, you know pretty good uh most of that show was kind of junk so i understand you know not wanting to cheer for junk like i get that uh i thought the ending segment with Braun and roman was decent uh you know not the worst thing in the world uh they had some pretty cool spots in there that poor security guard getting taken out was really funny um but it's a damn shame that if where that runs into is Braun losing to Roman, which he probably will, at uh, Fastlane on Sunday. Like, they need to do it in a way that is not going to hurt Braun's upward momentum here. Because I feel like Roman Reign is going to end up being the same kind of stumbling block that John Cena was for a long time for a lot of people. 
uh, in that you end up in that John Cena feud, you get that one win, and then guess what? You're going to be losing a lot, and it's going to totally stall any kind of upward momentum that you had just to ask Rusev. So, I don't know. We'll see how that pans out, because I think that it is a pretty much a given that Roman Reigns wins that match on Sunday. Uh, and I'm having some problems reversing Big Cass here. Also, no pinfalls. Now, sometimes they have pinfalls in, in, in steel cage matches, and sometimes they don't. I'm not sure what the the, the equivalent here is in, in this video game, but there's usually three ways to win a steel cage match. Either you get out of the cage uh, by going over the top, you get out of the cage by going th through the door, and there's no... Like, there's no door button here, which is uh, a problem. <laughs> uh, or you get a pinfall. And I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. Cancel. I don't know that I've actually done a steel cage match in this career mode just yet. I don't think I have. This might be the first time. So, that's funny. Uh, but Big Cass here. Running rough shot. He's going to hit the uh, Empire elbow and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there, there's Big Boot, and he's uh, he's out of stamina. He's out of stamina. Crawl away, crawl away, crawl away, crawl away. No! I couldn't do anything there. I couldn't do anything. Uh, come back! Haha! -ha. No, get, no! Get him! Get him! Haha! -ha. There we go. That was not my intention, but it worked. It did a thing. Uh, I need to hit... Signature and finisher here, and then, uh, finish this up. Oh, so, back to Raw. Um, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins. Uh, I gotta imagine that there's no way they'd be having, uh, this big cast no sell on the slug exploder. Really? Really? You're no sell on the slug exploder. Um, I feel like you wouldn't really have Rollins on Raw with a Triple H segment if he weren't at least a little bit confident that he was going to make WrestleMania. So, how that pans out, I guess, remains to be seen. Uh, but, I'm going for it here. I'm going for it here. Going over. Escape the cage. Bye-bye, big Cass. Bye-bye. He's like, no, come back. No, we're done here. Climbing down. Winner! I finally won a damn cage match. Now, I suppose it's entirely possible they could have Rollins appear for a thing at Mania and not actually have a match because of the state of his knee or whatever. But I feel like if he was actually hurt enough where he wasn't going to make Mania, you wouldn't even put him on TV. You would go in a different direction with Triple H, who's going to have a match regardless. Big cast rivalry. And they immediately are trying to screw me here in a one-on-three handicap match. Big Cass, Baron Blade, and uh, Lance Xander, Jaden Jett. One of the two. Also, my t-shirt sales are just done. The people just don't want this t-shirt. Gonna have to change it real soon. Big Cass, Brody Tyson, and Baron Blade. So basically, Big Cass is so big and so tough, he needs two other guys to help him win this match. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. I mean, granted, if he's looked at my win-loss history in this uh, video series, it'll make sense to get all the help he can get, but it still makes him look pretty weak. Anyway, uh, moving on to SmackDown, because Raw was kind of whatever, but moving on to SmackDown. Um, just watched it this morning, and uh, let's see here. Number one... We are firmly in that John Cena, uh, Nikki versus Miz and Maurice, uh, for better or worse, that's gonna happen at WrestleMania. Uh, but the most annoying part is that Cena himself said he'd rather be fighting Taker and not dealing with Miz. Like, I'm like, that's just, don't even mention it, because that was a match we were supposed to get last year, and Cena was hurt, and the match everyone expected this year. And no, they're going to have Taker fight Roman Reigns. That's kind of bullshit. Uh, that's kind of enough bullshit that the crowd at the Rumble was chanting, this is bullshit, when they had Roman and Taker in the ring having that stare down. So, you know, it's bullshit. Um, but the one thing I take, uh, you know, it, it was a good back and forth promo between Miz and Cena. Like, it really helped establish the point 
and uh, you know the the fire behind that feud. Both guys did fantastic. However, however, there was one sticking point. Big Cass is just not having it here. There was one sticking point there uh, that got on my nerves, and that is when Cena said that uh, Miz stole the figure four from Ric Flair. No, 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 Cena. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. It was 2013 on Miz TV when Ric Flair gave, he, he gifted, he taught the Miz the figure four. Because at the time, Miz was a face. I'm pretty sure uh, that was the case because Cesaro came out as the U.S. champion when, oh, Ref got speared. And Cesaro uh, was a heel and was running down Ric Flair and his four ex-wives and whatever else. And he, they started beating up on Cesaro, both Flair and Miz. Uh, and then Flair was going to put on the figure four. Then he had Miz do it instead. So, no, 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 John Cena. Miz did not steal the figure four. He was given the figure four. Uh, although, I guess, so was Dean Ambrose. So, that's a whole different story. Referee out of position and distracted. That would have been hilarious because that was like a ten count, but whatever. Uh, what else on on uh, on SmackDown? Um, poor Kurt Hawkins, man. I mean, at least Kurt Hawkins is getting on TV, whereas Jack Swagger isn't. So that's something. But didn't even get a match with Dean Ambrose. Just got Dirty Deeds, and then that was all she wrote. Um, one, one count. Um, and then of course we get to the end of SmackDown. The the invocation from Bray Wyatt and the final turn. Uh, of Randy Orton to say that he wants his title shot at WrestleMania, which, you know, I've been saying since they did that swerve, like, uh, the, the end goal has always been Bray and Randy for the belt at Mania, just gonna take a little bit of a winding road to get there, and that winding road was the fact that Randy Orton wanted the keys to the kingdom, and once he was, he was on the inside and Bray gave that to him, he got there and set the whole fucking thing on fire. Set it on fire, which was hilarious. Now, I have to wonder, did they buy that barn, or did they, did they build that barn? Like, did you just go buy an old barn to burn down, or did you gotta actually go out and build one, uh, and make it look like there's a lot of, you know, undergrowth, and, you know, you gotta make it look old. Or did you go find find an old one and buy it, and then just say, hey, we'll, we'll pay you five grand just to, you know, get it burned down? Um, and I'm getting my- Whoa! That wasn't supposed to happen! This game's broken. Uh, that was not supposed to happen at all. Screw you, Big Cass. Um, punch you in your stupid face. Uh, here we go. How about Deadlift Falcon Arrow from the out side? Look at the power. Look at the power. Um, yeah, so, uh, interesting ending there. You know, with the, with the music and everything else and, you know, the fire and it was definitely, uh, something different. Although, I guess a lot of folks were like, that was just like the Hardys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so, you know, there's that, but I thought it came out alright, uh, and we finally get that. But of course, there's a bit of, you know, uh, controversy, because you had your match between Harper and AJ Styles, which AJ Styles won that match, um, and of course, he thinks he is the rightful number one contender, which, if Shane screws him out of that, which 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 he will, because Shane was, you know, he can't down to the ringside to get the match restarted. So, when Shane screws him, and he will, then you get your Shane McMahon versus uh, AJ Styles, which I don't want. That's a terrible idea, but it seems like they're going to do it anyway. So, you know, I think there there are better uses for AJ Styles at WrestleMania, but not going to happen, which is a damn shame. A damn shame. So, this match is going to be impossible to win because I got these assholes doing their nonsense. And ref... What, how, how did that ref bump happen? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, moving on to news. We have some news. We have another TNA departure uh, from Mike Bennett and Maria. So, that's... the For those keeping score, that is the Hardys. That is... Drew Galloway, and that is Mike Bennett and Maria, all leaving TNA before their next set of tapings, which is uh, March, so, you know, this month. 
So, very soon. Uh, now, also, we're apparently not going to get Del Rio because the, that whole thing fell through. So, uh, it's very interesting to see what direction that they're going to take TNA into uh, moving into uh, their new year with their new owners, Anthem Sports. Um, and I can't block a thing here. I got hit with a reversal. And that sucks. Um, but we have uh, some indication that Eric Rowan is now cleared. Uh, so I guess he'll come back on SmackDown, I would imagine. Uh, but whose side will he be on? Will he side with Bray Wyatt? Will he side with Luke Harper? Will he side with Randy Orton? I don't know. Um, it could be any of the three. Or be on his own as Big Red. Uh, and also, I'm hearing that Finn Balor uh, is pretty much cleared to come back any day now, uh, according to, to the dirt sheets. So, I think that whether or not he has a Mania match is all kind of up in the air. But, uh, if, he, if, if not, then definitely a uh, Raw after Mania return would make the most sense in the world. So... This, I'm fighting an uphill battle here, or is it just not going to happen? But I refuse to give up, which at some point I should, because I'm not going to win. So at some point I should just get fed up, grab a solid steel chair, and then go to town on these fools. Fools. Um, so yeah, we are rapidly approaching fast lane this weekend, uh, and it'll be interesting to see how things on Fastlane pan out for the landscape of WrestleMania. Now then, in channel news, I know that I'd said I was originally trying to have a live stream tonight for the 50,000, you know, subscriber Q&A type deal, but, uh, I don't have time today. It's just not gonna, I, I got too much video to edit at the moment, so, uh, definitely not tonight. I'd say maybe this weekend? I'm hoping for this, 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 whoa, what the fuck was that? That was hilarious. Um, I'm hoping for this weekend. But again, this weekend, uh, is the Switch. So, uh, I need to do some Switch stuff, obviously, with that showing up in my mailbox on Friday. So, yeah, kind of just not great timing on my part. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it, I gotta stop doing this because he's gonna keep, poop. he's gonna keep pushing me off. That was still a leg drop. I'm sorry. That was still a fucking leg drop. Oh, that was stupid. That was, I gotta stop doing that because they could keep doing bullshit to me, which is not cool. How about a slug exploder? How about I go to the other corner where you can't get me, assholes, and do the 630 slug senton. Uh, and fuck it, I'm, he missed. He missed. I missed. Well then, Baron Blade. Baron... Blade, you generic piece of crap, jobber, garbage. How about I reverse your finisher? Ha ha! How about nope? How about that? No, spine buster. How about no? How about that was some weak shit? Yeah, go ahead and tag out, cause all your bros here are about as hurt as you are, and uh, are gonna meet the same fate of another slug exploder. And another salt shaker as soon as I can reverse the thing and get up here. Because it's not working too well. Get up. I'm dead. I can't get up. Just pick me up. Just pick me up. Dingus. Just do it. Just do it. Slug sploda. So yeah, it, this doesn't really matter because I'm just going to end up getting uh, a loss here. But whatever. Whatever. How about... How about an oh my god moment? I think that would be hilarious. If I can get him a count out loss, then I'll take that shit any day of the week! To Brody Tyson. So, start counting, ref. Start counting. That's right. Nobody else is going to interrupt this shit. I will get a count out victory. I'll take that one. If not, I'll get myself disqualified because that would also be hilarious because not taking your shit big cats and two jobbers nah son nah son stomping a mud hoe and walking it dry about baldo bomb 
Is that enough? Is that enough? Come on, ref. One more. One more. Don't reverse it. Don't reverse it. Boom! Ball or bomb. That should do it. That should do it. Attack slug. That's what's up. That's what's up. Winner of have count out. Five star match. And there you go. Somehow victorious in a three on one handicap match. And that brings us to SmackDown tomorrow. Also, I currently have zero points in this rivalry, which is some nonsense, but whatever. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.